The Game Boy Color. This beautiful handheld was released way back in 1989. Well, a lot of time has passed since then. And this plum purple Game Boy Color that we have now, that was received from our older brother, has seen better days. It's pretty worn out. Uh, the sound dial is uh, kind of touchy, where it only plays sound at a certain position. The buttons are pretty worn out, and you have to press fairly hard to get it to register anything. The sticker is pretty faded, and a lot of the ink is kind of scratched off. Uh, we don't even have a battery cover, so sometimes the batteries fall out. And the screen lens has more scratches than a cat owner. Certainly has fallen away from its prime. Hmm? Looking through my closet the other day, I found it. And, upon seeing its condition, decided I should restore it. But why stop there? Hmm. Let's improve it a little bit as well. Uh, I had seen a front light mod a while back and decided, hey, why not go and try it? Oh, I hit eBay. Uh, looking through the listings and I found a crystal clear, as it was labeled, uh, replacement housing shell. It came with the grass, glass screen lens, brand new silicon pads, and black buttons. Now, I didn't want black buttons because they seemed rather boring as well as I thought they'd look strange with the with a clear shell. So instead, I, just, I also decided to order a pair of transparent teal buttons to match the white. Of course, the front light kit came as well, which is more just the front light rather than a kit because that's all it is. Uh, all the materials here added around 25 30 bucks. $10 for the shell, $5 for the buttons, as well as another $10 or so for the front light. The links will be down there in the description if you would like to purchase these yourself. Fast forward a few days, the materials arrived, and I was ready to get started. Replacing the shell was easy enough, you know, undo a few screws, open it up, pull out the motherboard, go put it in the new one. Front light going in was, wasn't too bad, but you did have to rip off the foam padding that was on the back of the LCD display, which, you know, was glued down and took me a while to do it. This is how you separate the noobs from the pros at doing this stuff, because I've seen the other people where they just rip it off in one piece, and as you can see, I had troubles doing mine. Uh, after that, just put a few notches in the, in the shell for the wires to be able to route through. Place it there in front of the LCD, uh, put the motherboard on top, and that was it. Solder the light to the board, screw everything back together, and voila, front light mod. Put in some new rechargeable batteries, flip the switch, and look, it turns on. Testing it, we shut off the light, and look, you can see it. Kind of. Now, while well, the front light illuminates the screen, but... It just, it washes out a lot of the color and kind of makes the display just not so appealing. You can still see it, so it's playable, but it's just not necessarily an ideal solution. Something that's supposed to help is to add a LOCA, it stands for Liquid Optically Clear Adhesive. It's used to, so that there's not just the air in between the screen and the lens, and the, the front light. It helps the light to go through better and you know helps improve the color only issue is that when i finally got my loca it had already hardened so it was kind of a bummer contact the seller and he agreed to send another one but this too was also hardened now i don't know if it was just the seller stock or something but i decided just to give on give up on it for now instead what i did i added a dial to adjust the brightness. I cut out a hole there at the bottom of the Game Boy, uh, trimmed down the cotton, uh, trimmed down the pins on the thing, on the dial to fit, uh, soldered the wires to that, so I could adjust the brightness, put it all back, uh, put it all back together, and hey, I had variable brightness. Now, I think it also would work better if I had some loca to go with this, but I might do so in the future, but for the moment, I don't want to, and I can play silver again, so that's all I'm looking for. Now, emulators are good and all, and some people argue that they are better, and generally, I suppose it is. I, I do play emulate emulators sometimes, but 
just sometimes it's just so much better to play on the original handheld, the, the original console, whatever it is, you know. To have the block in your hand that is the Game Boy Color. There's just little that can beat that feeling that of having the physical buttons there. And hey, it still fits in your pocket too. So, you know, uh, if it doesn't fit in your pocket because you wear tight jeans, throw it in your bag instead or something. And hey, got a pretty sick looking Game Boy. Thanks for watching the Pimp My Boy episode of this channel. Drop a comment down below. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. I don't know how to do this. See, I'm not doing this. You can go ahead and do it. If you guys want, haven't already, go ahead and check out the playlist where we have all the Tech Tuesday videos listed there, uh, including my other brother uh, getting hacked. So you can go check that out, which he was actually in the background already. Oh, I forgot the most important part.